Hi girls, today I'm doing another makeup tutorial and this is also going to be a contest entry for handbag buyer 82. She has this really uh, nice contest going on and I really like the theme. It's uh, to create your Barbie look but in punk rock version. So I decided I love this contest theme and I'm definitely going to participate. So let me show you girls how did I achieve this look. And yeah, stay tuned and enjoy watching. <laughs> I'm priming my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I'm just going to take a dot of the primer on my ring finger and dab it lightly all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to take my highlight color, I'm going to take Colister and this one is shade 1 Bianco Luna and I'm going to take my Avon eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to collect a little bit of the eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this just under my eyebrow and don't forget to bring it down in your inner corner as well. Now I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take my Echo Tools eyeshadow brush. I'm first going to take the lightest pink and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever pencil brush and this color here which is hot pink and I'm going to bring this color just on my crease. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and this is just a brush from the Kiko Cosmetics and I'm just going to blend a little bit these colors. And I'm just going to apply a little bit more of the highlighter. Bring it again in my inner corner. Okay, so now I'm going to take this eyeshadow applicator brush. And this one is so small, it's by Barbara Hoffman brand but it works really well and I'm going to take my Too Faced Glamour Revolution palette and I'm going to use this eyeshadow here, it's called Label Whore but it's a gorgeous color, I love this color, it's one of my, you know, my favorite colors ever and I'm going to apply this on the second part of my eyelid and towards the outer corner I'm just going to build up the color because I want this color to have a really bold effect on my eyes. Don't worry about the eventual fallouts that you are going to have because we're going to clean all that out. With my angled brush by Echo Tools, I'm going to take again the label whore color from Too Faced Glamour Revolution palette and I'm going to bring it down on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my pencil brush again, dip it into a hot pink color, but just a little bit, and I'm going to smudge this and basically blend these two colors together. Now I'm going to take my eyeliner by Bourjois Cosmetics, and this is a really pretty color, it's very similar to the label Whore. This is how it looks like. On the camera it may come off as a black, but it's really kind of grayish green and it's really pretty. So I'm just going to apply this on my eyelid instead of an eyeliner. I'm smudging this line a little bit with my Sephora smudge brush and on just above of this eyeliner. I'm going to apply Inglot liquid eyeliner and this one is in shade XL3. Basically it's just a glitter eyeliner. And this glitter eyeliner as you can see has got chunks of gold 
and green glitter it's really pretty i love it now i'm going to apply mascara and i'm going to use l'oreal voluminous and on top of that i'm going to use hypnose drama i'm going for these really big volumized lashes and uh, this time I'm going to apply my mascara on my bottom lashes as well like Barbie look I will complete this eye look by adding a little bit of shimmer powder on my eyeshadow and I'm using this one by Kiko it's rose gold all over in shade 2 and I'm just delicately going to apply this glitter under my eyebrow basically where my highlight color is a little bit on my inner corner yeah and that's it for the eyes and let me show you what did I do to my face I used the blush from my Too Faced Glamour Revolution palette and this is how the blush looks like. It's called La Vie en Rose. I don't know if the camera will pick this up but it's such a pretty rose color with a lot of gold shimmer to it. It's really subtle shimmer though so I just picked it up a little bit with my Dior blush brush and applied with swirling motions on my cheeks just to give it a hint of color and then on top of that I decided to use a little bit of highlight color so I used my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Porcelain Pink and this one again has got a little bit of gold inside as you can probably see but it's really subtle and it just gives you this really nice light to your face and just a hint of color it's really pretty so for my lips um, what could be more appropriate than legendary Yves Saint Laurent lingerie pink in number seven uh, this is a rouge volat so basically it really gives you nice volume because it's so moisturizing and creamy and the color is so pretty so yeah this is a complete look I hope you enjoyed and now let me show you what did I do for my hair so this is my hairstyle. I believe it really corresponds to this punk rock look. I have this really big updo and then I just uh, pull the sides of my hair with my easy comb and let me turn around and show you how it looks like. I know I promised you a tutorial on this look and it's coming soon I promise. It's really simple so you will get to see it. So that's it for my hair now on to the clothes I know this is a really interesting part and let me show you how I style my entire look so let me start with accessories first I'm wearing this leather uh, bracelet and then I'm wearing another one this is like a cuff bracelet and um, these remind me a lot on leaves like silver leaves so I really like it and I'm wearing my big plastic bow ring because we are talking about Barbie here so I cannot uh, not include the bow so here it is but as it is a punk Barbie, rock Barbie then it's not a pink bow but it's a black bow uh, then other accessories well uh, as you could have seen in my makeup tutorial I'm wearing these flower earrings here and uh, I'm wearing my uh, golden chains and they're kind of hidden I really like them because they have got these uh, birds and trees and little bird house and everything really girly really fun so these are the accessories then as far as the entire outfit goes I'm wearing this t-shirt and uh, it's really pretty because it's black with this really big uh, red rose and a lot of rhinestones and on the back it looks like this and I themed everything with my distressed denim shorts and I love how my denim shorts have this distressed detail and on the back pockets as well 
and then they have got this like uh, embedded metal chains so it's really pretty I'm going to show you like a close up of this uh, look here and then I also like the detail on my t-shirt it has got this really small uh, side pocket which is really cute and as far as the footwear goes I would go either for a pair of flats like this pair here that would really uh, match the outfit perfectly they look like this or I would go for a pair of heels and uh, these are by guess just you know denim with uh, with uh, red leather just you know denim with red leather and uh, golden uh, buckle like a sign of guess So this is the embellishment on my shorts that I was telling you about. So I hope you girls enjoyed my punk rock inspired Barbie look, both makeup wise and uh, clothes and accessories. Do let me know what do you think about it. I really had so much fun creating this look. I hope you like it. Do let me know in the comment section. And thanks again Handbag Buyer 82 for holding this incredible contest. Bye!